We'll look here at the setup. So the setup, for the most part, very, very good. The grip, this is your original grip. Now, the grip there was good. Yeah. On occasions, your hands sometimes, it's a bit blurry, but yeah. okay. your hands get a little bit underneath with your right hand. Okay. Now, okay. make sure that right thumb does sit a bit more on top. We shouldn't really be seeing the left thumb. Your left hand grip there is good, but the right thumb should be sort of covering that grip. I think you may turn it around a little. You do a little bit, to be fair. Okay. But that grip there, so you've got a bit of a longer thumb. Yeah. That is actually a better grip, believe it or not, okay? Mm. Now, whether it's because you were being loose or you just sort of, Spetched your hands up, I don't know. That's the positioning, the pressure, as we said, with that thumb. Just loose as if you're just texting me your thumb there, okay? Yeah. Nice and loose. But in terms of the swing itself, as you went back, this is your before swing again. This is where your comfortable was. Your left arm was there. Yep. Club not really going up in the air that much. And it kind of hit a reasonable shot. Ball went down the range and the sort of swings there, kind of, I guess, half swinging length, which is not going to produce a lot of power. It's good for when you're on the golf course and you want to go 30, 40 yards. This is the shot you would use this sort of swing. But for, at the moment, now trying to get as much distance as possible, that's not going to produce much movement at all, yeah? yeah? All right, so that was okay. your backswing there. This is your backswing now and we're hinging the wrist, okay? Sure. Okay. You watched golf on TV before, didn't you? Yes. Looks part of Yeah, it looks part of it. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Now, from here, once the hinge of the wrist has happened and the arms have gone up, yep. the arms have got to come down. Okay. If you hit the top of the golf ball, or the ball goes on the ground, or it goes off sideways on the radiance of sideboards, it is definitely not you lifted your head, so don't keep your head down. It's not you bent your left arm, keep your left arm straight, okay? It's the fact your arms haven't dropped, okay? okay. And if you try and tense your arms or to not bend them or keep your head down, you're so locked now, you try and get, bring your arm, it's just like nothing can move down. All that happens now, you just spin around the corner and you just miss the ground anyway. Okay. So okay. your arms have to have this falling element from here. They fall, yeah? yeah? You're not dropping your head. Your arms come back down here. Lovely, I mean, that strike position there. And I say this now, and you, if you wanted to, you can, I can find a picture myself. If I draw a straight line from there, through your lead arm, shoulder, and the club shaft okay. on that golf ball, that is pretty darn good. Yeah, yeah? You've got a nice straight line there. Your head's behind the golf ball, as we'd expect. Your hips have now moved to the left side. There's a little bit of hip movement there to that yellow line. Okay. That movement there, and I'll just keep doing this back and forth, you could go on YouTube, Google Tour Player, impact position and there'll be some movements pretty similar to that okay. hence when you're at the golf ball all the golf ball knows what the club does doesn't know who you are doesn't know if you're a complete beginner or Rory McIlroy sure. yeah the ball will follow what the club does and then you twist through to a pretty decent follow through there's a bit more work we obviously could do with that but one stage at a time I mean yeah. the fact you're in the ball as well as you are is great we can keep doing that and repeating that movement and it's just a question of then repetition can't you? what would we have liked to see then here um this foot should be up on its toe that way a bit more, so it'd be a bit more kind of that way. Oh, but that just doesn't happen by you kicking it. I'm always a bit hesitant to say what to do because then you might start thinking about this too much. I yeah. don't, don't worry. Where you are there is fine for what you're achieving right now. It's more of a kind of a bit more longer term. But just to give you an indication of where we'd expect to go, this foot would be up on its toe, as yes. I said. The weight's down to your left foot anyway, so that's fine. But I mean, if you were to throw a ball as far as you could, yeah. Yeah, there'd probably be some of that movement there. You don't throw a ball and go, look, with yeah, the knee, yeah. do you? It just, it's, it's more of a symptom of what the body's doing as opposed to you just going, look, with the knee. Okay? But for me, generally what we look at is to start with setup and backswing and then produce a bit more into the downswing position for impact there. The fact you're doing that, Bloody impressive, mate, I've got to say. So, yeah. okay. Any questions at all with that? Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Happy days, mate. Very, very good. Right.